All right, we've made it. Woo. So here's 10.7, the homework, it's evens. Okay, so you see your conversion chart on the top. I only give you two of these over here, start time and elapsed time. Uh, if they give me start and elapsed, I have to add, okay? Uh, down here, I've got uh, an end time and an elapsed time. Remember, nine and three quarters hours is nine hours and 45 minutes, okay? I'm gonna end up subtracting, okay? So, and don't forget when I cross over 12, I'm gonna change it from AM to PM and vice versa, okay? So those are those, this one is a difficult one. If you want me to do this with you, please just send me a little message and I'll, I'll pop it up on my screen and we can talk about it, okay? All right, back side of this page. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we've got a marathon. He started at eight, it took four hours and 49 minutes, of course. They give me a start time. I need to find the end time, so I add. Um, down here, we're going from gallons to cups. So just look at your chart. Okay, how many cups are in a gallon? That's a considerable amount. Uh, choose a symbol, so which is bigger? I added these two zeros on here. Whenever I get decimals, right, I wanna make sure they have the same number of place values. That's how they try to get you on that. So make sure that it's a lot easier to see when you add the two zeros on the end. And then here, Adrian's recipe for raisin muffin calls for one and three quarters cups raisins for one batch of muffins. Adrian wants to make two and a half batches. So he's gonna do it two and a half times. And then I ask you how many cups of raisins will Adrian use? Well, um, it's one and three quarters times two and a half, the number of batches. To do this, what I'm saying here is convert them to improper fractions. Four times one is four plus three is seven. So this is seven fourths, right? Two times two is four plus one is five. That's five halves. Do that multiply them straight across, right? And then reduce by doing division. Okay, that's, that's how you're gonna do that one. And then over here, Kevin's riding his bike on a 10 and 1 8 mile bike path. He has covered the first five and three quarters miles. How many miles does he have left? That's the difference between the whole thing and what he's done, right? So it's a subtraction problem. This is 10 and 1 8. This is gonna be five yet and three fourths. You have to convert that to eighths. So I have to multiply it by two over two. So that's gonna end up being five and six eighths. So 10 and one eighth minus five and six eighths. You can't borrow or subtract six eighths from one eighth. You have to take 10, subtract one to get to be a nine, right? And then add eight eighths to the one eighth. It's gonna be nine and nine eighths minus five and six eighths if you do it right. Okay, any questions? I know it's a tough one, all right? But we've made it. Let me know how I can help you out.